Here are the words. In present tense, we have may, which means do, and the past tense of it is mere, did, may, do, mere, did. How do we use them in phrases and sentences? In present tense, we have may, which means do it, and in past tense, we have any mere, which means we did it, any mere. This is what we we'll bring to you today. It is 55 special Igbo verbs in their present and past tense form. It comes with phrases that will help you understand how they are used. If you are serious actually about learning how to speak and write Igbo language in the shortest possible time, then you have to watch this video till the very end. Let me not waste your time. Let's move straight to the class. I am the Igbo tutor, Onyen Kuzibo. Our first word is Bia, which means come, and the past tense of bia is biara, came, bia, come, biara, came, and its use in phrase is as follows, the present tense now, bia eba, which means come here, and the past tense goes this way, or oh, biara eba. He or she came here. Of course, all goes for both sexes. Number two, present tense, banye, which means enter. And the past tense of banye is banyere, entered. Banye, banyere. Let's see their phrases. Present tense of banye, usage. Banye nime which means enter inside. Banye nime, the past tense is ha banyere, they entered, ha banyere. Number three word, the present tense here we have is ba, bite, which means borrow, bite, borrow. And the past tense is bitere, borrowed, bitere. Borrowed. Let's see their usage in phrases. For present tense, we have bite ego, which means borrow money. Bite ego. The past tense, e biterem ego, I borrowed money. E biterem ego. Word number four. Present tense, bupu, which means carry away. And the past tense is bupuru. Carry it away. Bupu. Bupuru. Carry it away. Let's see their usage. In present tense, we have bupuya, which means carry it away. Bupuya. And the past tense, we have ike bupuruya, which means ike carried it away. Word number four. Present tense, cheta which means remember. And the past tense of cheta is chetara, remembered. Cheta, chetara. Let's move on to see the usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have chetaha, which means remember them, chetaha. The past tense, we have e chetaram, which means I remembered, e chetaram. Let's move on to word number six. Present tense, chefue, which means forget. And the past tense of chefue is chefuru, forgot. Chefue, chefuru. Let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense now. Chefue ya, which means forget it. And the past tense is Eche furumia, I forgot it. Eche furumia, I forgot it. Word number seven, present tense now. Chepo, which means pack out. Chepo, the past tense of chepo is cheporo, packed out. Cheporo, packed out. Let's see their usage in phrases. Chipo aqua in present tense, pack clothes out. 
And the past tense usage is Ochiporoya. He packed it out. Ochiporoya. Word number eight. Present tense. We have che think. Che think. And the past tense of che is chere. Thought. Chere. Thought. Now let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have che makaya, which means think about it. Che makaya. Past tense usage. E chere makaya. I thought about it. E chere makaya. Let's move on to the next one. And what do we have? Chute fetch. Chute fetch. The past tense of chute is chutere fetched. Chutere fetched. Let's see their usage in phrases. On the number one, for present tense, we have chute miri, which means fetch water. Chute miri. The past tense we have ha chutere miri, they fetched water. Ha chutere miri. Word number ten. What do we have here? We have da, which means fall. The past tense of da is dara, fell. Dara, fell. Now let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have da nala, which means fall to the ground. Da nala. The past tense we have o dara nala. It fell to the ground. O dara nala. Word number 11. What do we have here? We have de right. De right. The past tense of de is dere root. Dere root. Let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense now, the usage. De yana kuko, write it in book. De yana kuko. For the past tense, we have e dere mia, I wrote it. E dere mia, I wrote it. Word number 12. We have dapo, fall off. Dapo, fall off. The past tense is daporo, fell off. Daporo, fell off. Let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense now. We have equelaka or dapo. Don't let it fall off. Equelaka or dapo. Past tense we have or daporo nozo. It fell off on the road, or the pronozo. Let's move on to word number 13. And we have Daniel fall into. Daniel fall into. The past tense of Daniel is Daniere. Fell into. Daniere. Now let's see their usage in phrases. We have for the present tense Daniel na miri, which means fall into. Into water, Daniel and Miri. Past tense, ha Daniel and Miri. They fell into water, ha Daniel and Miri. Move on to number 14th word. And the verb here is dupu, which means lead away. And the past tense of dupu is dupuru. Dupuru, led away. Let's see their usage in phrases. And the first one is dupuha, lead them away. Dupuha, past tense usage. O dupuruha, which means he or she led them away. O dupuruha, number 15. The present tense we have fe, which means fly. Fe, fly. The past tense of fe is fere. Fairy flew. Let's see their usage in phrases. And what do we have? For the present tense, we have hapoyaka ofe, which means allow it to fly. Hapoyaka ofe. In the past tense, we have ofere poa, it flew away. Ofere poa, it flew away. 
Word number 16. We have for blow. For blow. The past tense of for is for. For. Blue. And let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have for op, which means blow the flute. For op. In the past tense, we have of op, which means he blew the flute. Of op. We move on to number 17th word. And what do we have? Fanye, squeeze in. Fanye, squeeze in. And the past tense of fanye is fanyere, squeezed in, fanyere. Let's see their usage in phrases, the present tense now. We have fanye omwegi, fanye omwegi, which means squeeze in yourself. And the past tense will have of fanyere omweya, he squeezed in himself, of fanyere omweya. we we'll move on to number 18th word. And what do we have? Ga, go. Ga, go. The past tense of ga is gara. Sometimes we use j also for this. Gara. Went. And let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense. We have ga ola kukwa, which means go to school. Ga ola kukwa. The past tense, or gara, ola, kukwa. He went to school, or gara, ola, kukwa. Number 19. The word is guo, which means read. Guo, read. And the past tense of guo is goro, read. Goro, read. Read and read are the same spelling, but different pronunciation. Let's see their phrases. And the first for present is go akukwogi. Read your book. Go akukwogi. Past tense we have agoromia. I read it. Agoromia. I read it. Word number 20. We have ba, which means run. Ba, run. The past tense of ba is bara. Run. Bara. Run. And let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have ba also, which means run a race. Ba also. In the past tense, we have abaram also. I ran a race. Abaram also. Word number 21. We have gua, gua, which means tell. And the past tense of gua is guara, told. Guara, told. Let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense now. We have guaha, which means tell them. Guaha, tell them. Past tense. O guaraha, he told them. O guaraha, he told them. Word number 22. And we have here, hum, hum, which means see. The past tense of hum is honro, honro, so, honro, so. Let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have bia honya, which means come and see it or come see it. Bia honya, past tense, ahoromia, I saw it. Ah, horomia, I saw it. Word number 23. And we have hapo, which means leave. Hapo, leave. The past tense of hapo is haporo. Haporo, which means left. Haporo. Let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense. Hapo abage, which means leave your bag. Hapo abage, past tense. O haporo abaya, he, she left her bag. O haporo abaya. Word number 24. We have here, which means lie. Here, lie. 
And the past tense of here or here is hiri, which means lay, hiri, lay. And let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense, hie no che, which means lie on the chair, oche i chair, lie on the chair. Past tense, o hiri no che, he lay on the chair, o hiri no che. We'll move on to number 25. And the word we have here is J, which means go to. J, go to. We also use ga for this. And the past tense is jere, went to. Jere, went to. Let's see their usage in phrases. On the present tense, we have J, Lagos, which means go to Lagos. J, Lagos, past tense. O, Jere, Lagos which means he went to Lagos. Oh, Jerry Lagos. You watched till this time because you are getting value for your time. Please subscribe to encourage us to do more for you. Also like, comment and share so that others can benefit from this also. Thank you for doing this. Email Chukukosiegi. We'll move on now to number 26th word. And the word we have here is K, which means tie. K, tie. Past tense of K is kere. Kere, tied. Let's see their usage in phrases. And the, word, the, the first one we have here for present tense is K, ya, eriri, which means tie it with rope. The past tense we have E, kere, ya, I tied it. E, kere, ya, I tied it. Word number 27. And we have here koa, which means so. Koa, so. The past tense of koa is koro, sold. Koro, sold. Let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have koam moro. Koam moro, which means so seed. So seed. Past tense ha korom moro. They sowed seed. Ha korum boru. They sowed seed. Word number 28. And we have lagachi. Go back. Lagachi. Go back. The past tense of lagachi is lagachiri. Lagachiri. Went back. Let's see their usage in phrases. First one present tense lagachi ulo. Which means go back home. Lagachi ulo. Past tense. O lagachiri ulo. He went back home. O lagachiri ulo. We move on to number 29. And what do we have? Me do. The word is me do. The past tense of me is mere. Mere did. Let's see their usage in phrases. Me and Mary. Present tense, me. We have me ya. Me ya, which means do it. Me ya. The past tense of me. Ani mere ya. We did it. Ani mere ya. We did it. We we'll move on to word number 30. And what do we have? We have mea, which means beer, as in fruit. Mea, beer. The past tense of mere is mere, mere, bo, mere. Let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have miam oro, which means bear fruit. Miam oro, bear fruit. Past tense, o mirim oro, it bore fruits. O mirim oro, it bore fruits. Word number 31. And we have mota, which means learn. Mota, learn. The past tense of mota is motara. Motara, learn. Let's see their usage in phrases. And the first one for present tense is mota otuihe, which means learn one thing. Mota otuihe. For past tense, we have a motaramo to here, which means I learned one thing. A motaramo to here. Word number 32. 
We have nata, which means receive. Nata, receive. And the past tense of nata is natara, received. Natara, received. Let's see their usage in phrases. We have for present tense, nata ego aho, which means receive the money. Nata ego aho, past tense, a natara mia. I received it. Ah, Nataramia. Let's move on to word number 33. And we have Nupu, which means push out. Nupu, push out. The past tense of Nupu is Nupuru. Nupuru, pushed out. Let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, we have Nupuha which means push them out, nupuha. Let's see the past tense, ha nupuruani, they pushed us out, ha nupuruani. Word number 34, and we have no, which means here, no, here. The past tense of no is noro, noro, which means hard, noro, hard. Let's see their usage in phrases. Present tense now. We have nooluani, which means hear our voice. Nooluani. The past tense. Ha nooluani. They heard our voice. Ha nooluani. They heard our voice. Word number 35. The word is panye carry to. Panye carry to. Past tense of panier is paniere, carried to paniere. Let's see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, panier, we have panier mha, which means carry them to me, or it could be to someone else. And the past tense is o paniere mha, he carried them to me, o paniere mha, he carried them to me. Word number 36. We have pinye press into. Pinye press into. The past tense of pinye is pinere. Pinere pressed into. Let's see their usage in phrases now. The present tense pinye. We have pinye ya niko. Pinye ya niko, which means press it into cup. And the past tense a pinere mia which means I pressed it in, apinyeremya. Word number 37. And what do we have? We have palie, which means lift. Palie, lift. The past tense of palie is paliri. Paliri, lifted. Paliri, lifted. Let's see their usage in phrases. The present tense, palie. Palie ya elu which means lift it up, palieya elu. Past tense, we have o paliria elu, o paliria elu, he lifted it up. Word number 38, and we have pota come out, pota come out. And the past tense of pota is potara, potara, came out. Let's see their usage in phrases. And we have for pota, we have the phrase sieba hon pota, which means come out from there. Sieba hon pota, the past tense. O potara o so so, he came out quick. O potara o so so. Word number 39. And we have pue sprout, or pue sprout. And the past tense of pue is Puru, puru, sprouted, puru, sprouted. Let's see their usage in phrases. And the first one we have for present tense is Chere kahapue, wait till they sprout. Chere kahapue, past tense, ha puru nyaho. They sprouted yesterday, ha puru nyaho. Word number 40, present tense now. We have rafue, deceive, rafue, deceive. Past tense of rafue is 
Rafuru, deceived. Rafuru, deceived. You see their usage in phrases. And we have Kamrafueha, which means let me deceive them. Kamrafueha. For the past tense, we have Orafuruani, she deceived us. Orafuruani. We move on to word number 41. And we have the word rie it. Rie it. And the past word tense of rie is ri ri it. Ri ri it. We see their usage in phrases. For the present tense, rie, we have bia rie ri, which means come eat food. Bia rie ri. And the past tense is Ani ririnri, we ate food. Ani ririnri. Move on to word number 42. And we have re sell. Re sell. The past tense of re is re re. Re re sold. And let's see the way they are used in phrases. For the present tense re, we have gareya. Which means go sell it. Gareya. The past tense we have ereremia. I sold it. Ereremia. I sold it. Word number 43. Present tense we have racha, which is lick. Racha, lick. The past tense of racha is rachara. Rachara, licked. Let's see their usage in phrases. For racha, we have racha akage, which means lick your hand. Racha akage. The past tense will have or rachara akaya. He licked his hand. Or rachara akaya. We move on to word number 44. And we have sa. Some we call it sacha. It is the same thing. Sa, wash. And the past tense is sara. If you use sacha, it will become sachara. The same thing. Wash. Sara, washed. Let's see their usage in phrases. We have sa ahonge or sacha ahonge, which means wash your body. Sa ahonge, past tense, inkechi sara ahonya, which means inkechi washed her body. Inkechi sara ahonya. Number 45. Present tense now. We have siye cook. Siye cook. The past tense of siye is siri cooked. Siri cooked. Let's see how they are used in phrases. Present tense now siye. We have siyenri, which means cook food. Siyenri. The past tense now nem sirinri. My mom cooked food. Nem sirinri. Word number 46. We have se, 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 which means se. And the past tense of se is seri. Seri, said. Seri, said. Let's see their usage in phrases. For se, we have isegeni. Which means, what did you say? Is again. And let's see the past tense. Aserim bia. I said come. Aserim bia. I said come. Number 47. The word is te rob. Te rob. And the past tense of te is tere. Tere. Robbed. And let's see. Their usage in phrases. For te, we have te yamano, which means rub it oil. Te yamano. The past tense, we have o tere mano, he rub me oil. O tere mano. Word number 48. And the word we have is ta, which means chew. Ta, chew. The past tense of ta is tara, tara, chewed, tara. Let's see their usage in phrases. And for ta, we have 
pa ako beke. Ako beke means coconut. Chew that coconut. Pa ako beke ahu. And the past tense is o tara ako beke. He chewed coconut. O tara ako beke. Number 49. The word is tinye put into. Tinye put into. And the past tense of tinye is tinyere. Put into. Put is put in past tense. No difference. Tinyere. Let's see their phrases. Tinye go na ba. Put money into bag. Tinye go na ba. Past tense. E tinyere miya na ba. I put it into bag. E tinyere miya na ba. Number 50. The word we have is vo, which means hatch. Vo, hatch. And the past tense of vo is voro. Voro. And voro, which means hatched. And the phrases for this, the present tense vo is vo aqua coco, which means hatch chicken egg. Vo aqua coco. Past tense, aqua voro. The egg hatched. The aqua voro. Word number 51. The word is wa. Wa splits. Wa, and the past tense of wa is wara. Wara. Split is split for both present and past tense. Wara. Let's see their usages in phrases. For present tense, we have wa anko. Split the wood or split wood. Wa anko. Past tense. O waranko, he split the wood, or he split wood. O waranko. Word number 52. Present tense. We have yinye, which is where. Yinye, where. Past tense of yinye is yinyere. Yinyere, wo. Yinyere, wo. Let's see the phrases for usage. Present tense, yinye akwagi, wear your clothes. Yinye akwagi, past tense, nkiru yinye akwaya, which means nkiru wore her clothes. Nkiru yinye akwaya. Number 53, the word is yipu, which means take off, as in clothes also. Yipu, take off. The past tense of yipu is yipuru. Yipuru, which means take off. Let's see their phrases. For present tense, we have yipu akwage, which means take off your clothes. Yipu akwage. Past tense, ngozi yipuru akwa ya. Ngozi took off her clothes. Ngozi yipuru akwa. Ngozi took off clothes. Number 54. We have za, which means answer, or za. Answer. The past tense of za is zara. Answered. Zara. Answered. Let's see their phrases now. For present tense za, we have zam or zamu, which means answer me. Zamu. For past tense, we have o zaramu, which means he answered me. O zaramu. He answered me. Word number 55, and the word is zota, which means buy. Zota, buy. And the past tense of zota is zotara. Zotara. But, and let's see their phrases for usage. Zota, we have ga zota ano, which means go buy meat. Ga zota ano. And for past tense, we have azotaramano. I bought meat. Azotaramano. With this, we come to the end of our lesson today. We thank you for, you know, waiting this long to learn all this. Practice them over and over again. And for your benefit too, we have few ones selected and displayed on the screen. Click on any of them and watch now. And they will thank us later. Thank you for being with us. God bless you. See you in the next video.